Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and welcome back to Everspace. Here we are in, well, <laughs> a little bit of a pickle because we've got a heavy cruiser up there. Keep it up. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it on. Not a heavy cruiser, but an Ocar Corvette. Now, unfortunately, I, you can hear all those contacts. They're all coming for me. Unfortunately, I don't have the necessary weapons to actually try and take these on, but let's put the short booster on and go and see what happens anyway. Nothing without the uh, missiles, I guess, is not likely to do to do a lot of damage. So let's see if we can build a few missiles here. I don't think, unfortunately, they're going to do that much good because these are only light missiles. What's going on? Something else attacking? Or oh, they're attacking me. Trying to get somewhere where the weapons can't reach, but I think pretty much these weapons can reach anywhere here. Shame we can't actually take the weapons out themselves. Whoa! We nearly got it actually, kind of surprised about that. I don't know quite how this has happened, but... <laughs> there we go, I guess sometimes you just don't know. Can't build any more missiles, unfortunately, so... Let's see if we can get over there and just take it out before the shields recharge. Come on, no, no, no! Ah, I should have tried to finish it off before that, shouldn't I? So we're out of energy here, which is why the uh, weapons are not charging. It's these guys here who are actually bring their shield back online. Let's try again. I think we just got lucky the first time. I don't suspect I'm going to be able to do that again. doing any good here. Well, we got quite close. Let's take out the fighter here. I should have been using the pulse lasers all from the start anyway to take down the shields because they do a much better job as you can see here. So, not particularly a good start already. So, yeah. Very ill prepared there. Let's try again. You never know. I deployed a bunch of uh, shield repairers again, but this time we're a little bit better prepared, and I think it's going to go with a massive explosion. Exactly what we want to see. Huh. Thank goodness. So yes, very ill prepared there. I knew there was going to be a corvette here, but totally wasn't prepared using the wrong weapon. Don't use kinetic weapons against shields, is the uh, take home there. Viridian Energy. You've just collected some Viridian Energy. This special resource is the only resource that carries over from run to run. Ooh. You might not need it at the moment, but it will come in handy for trading and crafting special blueprints at a later stage. Have we got everything there? I think we have. So, one Corvette down, and we're going to go over and pick up these credits over here. We nearly got it very early on, but at least we're good to go now. We have got a trader here. I might as well have a look, I guess. They might want to trade to the, um, the Viridian stuff I just found. Got a little bit of fuel nice, nicely. Uh, nothing there. I really want some shield breaker missiles. We could have done with them a little while ago. Shield boosters in exchange for some more. Yeah, let's... Let's have those. 
They came in very handy just now, didn't they? So then, if this, if, if this is the first time you've joined me on a run of um, Everspace, this is a roguelike game. For those of you that have been watching for a while now, you'll be well aware of this. But essentially, we're travelling from star system to star system, from sector to sector. With the goal, of basically, to get as far as we can actually get. And in just a moment, we'll have a look at the map and you can see whereabouts I am situated at the moment. I'm not too far in. Far enough that we've seen a Corvette, though. And it was a lot easier to take down than I was actually expecting. Actually, let's see if we got any more. Hull repair there to repair the, um, repair rather, the hull. You never know, we might find some good resources around these areas. Sometimes we do. Fuel is always nice. Fuel is in the, the top right hand corner of the screen. And it's getting a little bit high there. Thermo gun. Don't recall ever seeing a thermo gun before. Right, three quarters of a tank of fuel, and that's exactly what we want. And let's have a look at the uh, star map again. So we're only in Sector 2. We're on easy difficulty. That's probably why uh, the Corvette was so easy to take down. Again, for those of you that watch regularly, you'll know that I like to change the difficulty from run to run. Sometimes I go on easy, sometimes medium, sometimes hard. And sometimes we put it on hardcore mode as well. Just to mix things up a little bit. Just to see how things actually play out. Some very nice dust clouds here. Stunning looking game, really. So if you want to come along and chat about Everspace, indeed if you want to chat about any space game full stop, why not stop by the Discord server? There's a link in the video description below. It's been opened, I think, what, three weeks now? Maybe even a month? I don't think it's quite a month yet. But either way, it's been opened quite a few weeks now. I've been getting a lot of help from a whole bunch of different people. And it's an active community, very, very nice. Over 2,200 people now there on a Discord server. And that includes the developers of Everspace. You can find there. They've got a very own channel on the Obsidian the Discord server. There's an Obsidian, there's an, a, a channel there for Everspace, along with the Everspace developers. A few other space games as well. So if you haven't joined yet, why not click the link below and come and have a look? I think that just about I think that just about gets us done in this system, doesn't it? We're going to head off to the next uh, zone and make our way towards Sector 3. So, as to be expected, the game does get increasingly difficult as you progress along, but of course, this is on easy mode, so it shouldn't get too difficult for a little while. But then you never know. Sometimes I make some rather stupid mistakes. Other times, the unexpected happens. So how does this work for ammo? I actually like the look of that. It's seeking ammo. That's really neat, isn't it? First time I've used that weapon. Try it again. I'm trying to see the drawback of this. I can't actually see any at the moment. Oh, the they're, they're seeking to only an extent. They don't. Uh... They don't track it fully. Did I just see another weapon come up? No, we've only got three. Okay, let's go get some plasma then. The jump gate is there, that will take us to the third sector. But of course, as usual, we like to try and find whatever resources there are around here. Oh, Mr. Credits. So one thing you will notice is that the backdrop here is very, very different to the location I was in previously. We was in a beautiful uh, blue gaseous cloud early on, and now we're in uh, the depths of the vast black space. I 
don't think I want the drone disassembler. We can salvage that. Kind of wish you got more components when you uh, break something down. Okay, where was that plasma cloud? It was over here. So yes, a whole bunch of space games on the market uh, at the moment and quite a few coming up. For those of you that have been paying attention, you'll notice that Rebel Galaxy is not too far away. Rebel Galaxy Outlaws it actually looks really good. Very good, in fact. Um, downside, I guess, is that it hasn't got a release until 2019. What is this? An alien entity of some type. Or, well, we got a bit of plasma from it, nonetheless. I guess I got a bit too close. And the other big space game uh, due for release not too long is... X4 Foundations. Another one I'm looking forward to, although I fully expect that to be a little bit of a buggy release. Egosoft have got a reputation for that, so, you know, maybe we should cut them a break. Maybe this time it'll be different and the game will work perfectly out of the gate. You never know. But both of them I've got videos on. Rebel Galaxy Outlaws and uh, uh, X4 Foundations. You'll probably be able to see a link to them at the end of this video. So do keep an eye out for that. What about that task I gave you? You're wasting your time here if you don't have the goods. You know what? I don't know if I do have the goods. So uh, this guy, and the guy we're just talking, is from the uh, Encounters expansion pack that comes with Everspace, and oh, you can't, you can't see it. At the um, at the main menu, you get a little uh, icon down here, a little banner telling you whether or not you've got it installed. It's actually a separate purchase, a DLC, but it gives you some rather interesting missions along the way. Let's go see the guy. Always in a rather large ship, isn't he? Tareen. Oh, I assume that's him anyway. No, it can't be. 175 scrap. On board my ship. There we go. There's a bit of scrap for you. Much appreciated. We should have got some reward for that. I can't remember what the reward was. Probably some credits, but... Yeah. So, with Encounters, you get these different types of missions as you plan through the uh, game. So, talking about different environments, you can see we're in these beautiful, almost volumetric type clouds. I don't think they are quite volumetric. You can see... Well, I don't think they are anyway. They don't look it, do they? Not quite, but still very pretty. So we've got some targets coming in now. Let's deal with these. I'm admiring the backdrop there. to take them on before they take my shields out there. Well, some different weapons, which is nice. So you're about to see that these guys have got slightly tougher shields than the ones in Sector 2. But we still managed to make relatively easy work for them. Even though it took a little bit of time. So where is that weapon? Look like a fusion blaster. So another weapon I don't think I've used before. I'm going to replace the thermo gun with it, even though I did like the thermo gun. But we'll swap it for now. I'm not going to salvage it just in case I want to take it back. And let's have a look how this works. Let's keep the thermo gun for now then, or the fusion gun rather. We'll leave the uh, thermo gun behind. I probably should salvage it, but. Some interesting wrecks here. What you'll find is these do have some really nice resources in, but sometimes you can't actually get inside them. I mean, in case you're wondering, you can see in first person. But I much prefer to fly third person. I normally demonstrate that during a playthrough. 
Well, I hear some hostiles. Oh. So access keys, you can see it said there, access, access, oh dear, I'm stumbling over my words today. It said access key needed. Let's try that again. We actually get those from elite fighters. Looks like we're full of nano zone. Target decelerator. Oh, there's some nice goodies around today, but we're going to salvage it. We might as well see if there's anything we can upgrade whilst we're here then. So, not upgrading the shield, but I will try that. Oh no, I don't want a range modification. So let's get going and see what's outside. I'm going to leave in a minute, so we might as well salvage this, I guess. Don't get a lot, but we're not going to be able to test out the fusion gun here. Now, you may notice that the uh, sensors are impaired. There's often a bunch of different reasons for that. In this case, it's likely to do uh, with the environment. And you can see the, uh, the little green... Indicator, red, the reticule in front of us is actually a slightly different colour here. So again, we're talking about the uh, guys that we see in the expansion. We're quite fortunate that so many of them are in the same sector here. So we've already spoke with Vereen. We're going to head here and I think we are anyway. What one do I want to head towards? I'm going to go this way. I want to talk to these two, I think. So the different colours there on the map indicate different difficulties. And there we have an elite outlaw scout. One is occupied. I'll take on the... Oh no, they're actually fighting the elite, aren't they? I'm not sure what those things are behind him. But I think we should be keeping away from them, huh? They're on to me. He's down. Call cool, those things. Dark energy based cramps. And that's what we wanted early on, the uh the access key. Unfortunately, we can't go back to the the base that we saw that in. But maybe we'll find another one before too much longer. Boom. Let's try and repair. Plenty of nanobots, so we're good for that for the moment. So it's not a particularly brilliant weapon, I don't think. The uh, fusion blaster here always found for some reason in this game that the default weapons. But pretty much the best ones, at least personally I find them to be the better ones. Especially once they've been upgraded a little bit. So these are attacking GMB, which are neutral to us out here. Friendly, because I guess you consider it as far as it goes, as long as you don't end up attacking them. And of course we've got to watch the friendly friendly fire. It was a little bit close. With the friendly fire that is. 
So sometimes GMB do have resources that we're in desperate need of, and so it means we need to attack them, but I try not to do it because they stay aggressive for longer than I'd like them to. Looks like we're done here, doesn't it? A few more resources. I was literally just about to say we could do it with a little bit more fuel. I hear something there. Plenty of resources dotted about. But I think... I think... No, nope, a bit more plasma. I was just about to say, I think we're done here. Some wreckage, maybe. Yeah, it's something that we can find in here, but I doubt it. Right. Well, it's... it's so much plasma laying around. Let's disappear off to the next sector. I know there's a contact there. We can have a talk with someone from the encounters. This guy is usually up to shady things. So let's see what he says this time. Another beautiful area. Look at that. Here we are again. Hey, are you there? Yes. What happened? Are you still doing the job? Sure. I was held up, but I'm here now. Okay then, good luck. Mission started. Extract the resource. Extract the resource containers. Well, where are they? There are traps. That's well, a little bit of a nuisance because if these are the re resource containers he's talking about, it means I need to attack GMB. Yeah, I've got to attack these. It's not really what I wanted to do, but. Right, you can see his jump drive is spinning up. So we're going to try and take this down as quick as we can. Whoa, that's what you call an explosion. But this may have been a mistake. We're going to try and build a few more uh, missiles, I think, because we're out of energy. We can't get many. I think that might be enough. God, it didn't even scratch him. Oh, no, that one did. Let's get him before his shield comes back. And another access key. Is that missile going to come back at me? Looks like we managed to evade it. Now where's the next one? I will mark the location of the second transporter on the radar. There we go. So how many is that? I guess... Does that only count as one? I know we've got two there. Fortunately, we've got some missiles. Now, the question is whether or not I want to use these missiles on the... Um, on the transporter. Or do I want to save them for any elite fighters that are likely to spring up? Let's try Gonna use a few missiles. There we go. But not for much longer. Don't really want to waste the missiles, so Although we're closing in to being out of energy here. Shields are holding for the moment though, so... 
Out energy again. Wow. This is the trouble with some of the weapons. They do use the energy up quite a bit. I should have gone for the drone first, because that was a lightly armoured target. Right, we're nearly there. This is the last one, but I've only been getting two units. No, I only got one from that last one. Right, let's wait for our fuel to, or our energy rather, to charge up a little bit. I'm going to fly in slow to enable that to happen okay, let's this get time. Unless it jumps up to six this time, we're certainly not going to get enough. We didn't get enough. No so I'm curious what happens this time round if um, if we don't get enough resources to hand back to the guy. missiles incoming. If we don't hurry up here we are going to have the interceptors. Oh, the interceptors is it? I can't remember the... Oh, the name escapes me. More credits. Right, I can't select because everything's messed up. So let's repair the sensors, let's repair the ship and go again. Have one of them. Make things a little bit easier. And we're done. Right, so... Hello, my friend. Did you take care of the resource transports? I did. Yes, but you we haven't got enough resources. Great, I'll be right there. Let's see what he says. I don't think I'm going to have enough here. Unless it well, turns out okay. Some containers. Hey, this is an no, he's kind of okay with it. <laughs> Try to use the resources for something good, okay? My friend, number one, we are the coalition. Number two, I got 26 kids to feed. Number three, of course we're going to use it for something good, okay? I will send in my guys to pick up the containers. Come see me again. I may have something else for you. There he is off. Okay, well, that went pretty smoothly, I guess. A few more resources over there, and we're going to jump into the into the next zone. Time to leave. So there we go. Not too bad. I had a few encounters there as well, and things did heat up and get a little bit interesting. But I think. Right now, this is where we're going to leave it for this particular episode. And we're going to have to talk to that guy in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.